Yo, what is going on guys? Dr. Schwaz here. Welcome back to another class tutorial for Gears 5. Uh, today I'm going to be discussing the Marksman class. So he's one of the Assault classes. Uh, his role is a Master of the Headshot. So he's a sniper class that picks off targets uh, with surgical precision. Uh, his ultimate ability is the X-Ray, which allows him to see through walls and shoot enemies with ballistic weapons for a short period of time. Um, his ultimate lasts 15 seconds in Horde, um, and then in Escape it's 10 seconds duration. Uh, his passive ability allows him to penetrate through targets uh, to potentially get collateral kills. It says precision shots penetrate things, penetrate through targets. In my opinion, it's a bit of an underwhelming passive because of the rarity that enemies line up uh, perfectly, allowing you to headshot two, three, four enemies. Um, at once but uh, yeah that's his passive <laughs> moving on to marksman skill cards here so we're going to start with a uh, long shot handling uh, it says a level 6 critical kills with the long shot I have a 100% chance of automatically active reloading uh, on active rounds um, in my opinion it's an awesome skill card uh, it allows the marksman to have guaranteed actives after you get a critical kill so this kind of removes once it's level six the stress of trying to look at the top right corner of the screen to make sure you're getting actives to maximize your damage output uh, it's a very rewarding skill card to use if you're super accurate with your shots it allows you to continuously pop heads and deal massive damage it's always a card i use um, in my lineup moving on to exploit weakness at um, level 6, it's a 55% extra headshot or weak point damage. So a weak point would be like a critical area on an enemy that's not necessarily their head. So like the bottom of a pouncer belly, um, the underneath area of a snatcher, the back of a matriarch, the uh, venom sacks on the wakatu, examples of critical um, weak point areas on enemies. Um, so uh, this is a base damage card, uh, increased card. I think you should always run um, to maximize your base damage as a sniper. It's always a card I have on um, whether I play Horde or Escape. All right, moving on to Modified Long Shot. Uh, it, this increases the damage and active effects by, of the Long Shot by 30%, um, which may not seem like a lot, but it's certainly enough to damage and eliminate drones in one shot, later ways of horde, and scions in two shots in later ways of horde. Um, in escape, it's certainly really good as well. Uh, definitely a great card to run if you're running a traditional long shot build. Um, and I notice in horde, uh, he's a bit perk dependent. Uh, late in later ways, it helps to level up those perks, which I will mention. Um, in conjunction with this card to maximize his damage output. Uh, moving on to Explosive Critical Hit. This is a fun skill card to run. Um, it causes critical kills to explode for 85% flash damage. So basically, it allows the marksman to crowd control damage from afar. Um, so you can, you know, headshot like a scion or a drone. And if it's adjacent to a bunch of enemies, it can be pretty devastating killing um, a crowd of enemies. Uh, really, really useful card to run. Uh, very fun to run card to run. Always pretty much have it in my stack, uh, whether I'm playing Horde or Escape. I do occasionally take it off and I'm running with a veteran, but I will mention that combo in a bit. Moving on to Ambush. Uh, ambush allows 100% increased critical damage to targets above 90% health. Uh, in my opinion, this is one of his best skill cards because... Once you pair it with other damage cards, the marksman basically become a sniping machine, picking off enemies to full health and like one, two active long shot rounds. Um, so the the key thing about this card is you have to make sure that you are shooting at enemies that have full health. If they don't have, or mostly I'm above 90% health, if an enemy is like at half health, um, this card is not active anymore and you don't have that 100% increased damage so it may sound counterintuitive but he does a lot more damage 
in conjunction with the other cards when enemies are higher health than when they are low health. So definitely a great card to run. Um, it's even more devastating in the ultimate since you do even more damage um, shooting enemies through walls. Moving on to Icy Precision. Uh, it says deal 34% freezing damage per after reloaded critical hit, weak point hit uh, with the precision weapons. And uh, I did mention before, pre precision weapons in Gears 5 include the Marksa, the Longshot, and the Umbar. Um, it works, uh, Icy Precision works amazingly well with uh, the Marksman and the Veterans Ultimates combined together. So you'll see some gameplay of this. Um, the Veteran has an ultimate where he has uh, automatic uh, headshot hits for 40 seconds when you take cover next to him. And then Marksman uh, ultimate is that he can snipe enemies through walls. So when you combine them, it's like uh, a sniper strike, wreak havoc, uh, clear the waves type of element there. It's a super effective um, card to run because it can freeze bosses in place. And it's an insanely efficient way to pass through horde waves, especially boss waves. Uh, you get the Snatcher or the Matriarch frozen and it can't go anywhere. And then, of course, when enemies are frozen, you the base you do triple damage to any any enemy when you freeze it um, once you shoot it with something and then later in the tutorial you will see some footage of this combo that I use uh, with marks and veteran some gameplay uh, of that alrighty moving on to critical parade um, this extends the x-ray ultimate uh, duration by 25% per critical kill that you get um, so roughly in Horde, that would give you a roughly about three, three and a half seconds of extra ultimate time every headshot you get. Um, it works really well in conjunction with Icy Precision. Um, because you can uh, use it with Veterans Ultimate and get critical headshots. Um, freeze enemies, continue the X-Ray Ultimate uh, throughout the whole wave. Uh, which is very, very useful. It also works really well in escape, like in certain hives, um, parts of the hive where you may need to clear out certain areas. Um, definitely a great card to run. Um, not a card to run all the time, but it's, it's definitely a very good situational card to run. Um, it does require you to be very accurate. I noticed that once you miss a, a headshot or two, it's... It's kind of game over for the ultimate, so you kind of need to be on your A game when you use this card. Uh, Epic Score Boost is a typical score card, so if you're running a high score run in Horde or a score run in Escape, you'll run that card. Moving on to Modified M Bar. It says increases the damage and active effects of the M Bar by 30%. In my opinion, this is not a skill card I normally use due to the relative weakness of the M Bar in comparison to uh, the Marksa and the Longshot. It's a good card to run, like when you're leveling up the class for the first time, or in certain situations, uh, like in Escape. Like, for example, on the Split, um, this is a hive that features Dead Eyes, which hold M bars, and it's a hive that doesn't have a long shot, so you kind of are forced to run the card um, to be effective if you bring that class. Um, patience. Uh, recharges the X-Ray Ultimate 200%, 210% faster while not taking any damage for 120 seconds. Uh, in my opinion, this is a super situational card that I've seen used in hives, like the Split, for example, where like the Marksman can sit back um, and wait for his ultimate so he can have his X-Ray ability in crucial areas like prior to the safe room or prior to the LZ. Or you can sit back in the, in the back of a spawn and horde and uh, get, gather his ultimate so that he can fight a mini boss wave or a boss wave. Um, in my opinion, he does have a slow alt charge. Uh, the marksman, it's like 400 seconds. It's um, But I do think there are better cards to run than this one because of the conditions that, that are required in order for, to activate it. Moving on to Counter Snipe. It says it reduces a uh, ballistic damage by 32% by precision weapons 
So on a master level, uh, that much damage resistance isn't enough to prevent being down from a long shot or M bar. I could see it being useful on hives like Ice Queen or Horde daily maps that have freezing mutators. Uh, it could be a decent card. Um, these low damage resistance cards aren't really that great unless they're paired with another health card, uh, which he doesn't really have. So it's an okay beginner card to run, but I wouldn't recommend it on uh, master level. Uh, M-Bar ammo capacity increases the capacity by 35%. This is an okay card to run if you're first leveling up your classes, but but once you get a level, uh, weapon locker, you can you, you won't have to worry about ammo capacity for the M-Bar. Uh, like I mentioned, it's a lot weaker than um, the long shot. But once you continue to level up the class, I think there are much better cards to run. Alright, Master Marksman increases the act to reload bar by 220% for precision weapons. So, Marksman and bar long shot. Uh, this is an okay card to run if you're struggling to get actives early on. However, I think this issue can be mitigated with cards like long shot handling which give you 100% active reload chance after every critical hill you get with the long shot. It's definitely a beginner or low level card. Um, I don't think it's not too difficult to get an active anyway, but there are a lot more better cards you can run uh, to maximize his damage output. Uh, score boost to the typical score card to run if you need a high score in escape. You can run that card. Um, and then Steady Hand, the final card, it, it reduces the camera shake and stun effects by 75%. Um, so this is, can be a useful beginner card, like if you're struggling to snipe. Um, especially if you have a demo or a tactician or a gunner or any class using explosive weapons, um, like spamming the spawn with booms, GLs, whatever they're doing. That's going to cause a lot of shake in the background, so this card can mitigate that for a bit. Um, not a card I personally run ever, but it's but test it out and see if it works for you. Alright, moving on. Uh, that's going to be the kill cards for now. I'm going to move on to the Horde perks. And then after that, I will have some gameplay of the Marksman class in action. Alright guys, before I go into mentioning the perks and Horde, I wanted to mention um, some of the card stacks that I use for uh, Horde and Escape. So in Horde, my basic stack I like to run is Long Shot Handling, uh, Modified Long Shot, Explosive Critical Hit, Exploit Weakness, and Ambush. So this is like a base Long Shot um, Heavy Damage build. Um, in Escape, I run the same build, um, and then I, in a second I'll show you the other build that I like to run, um, which I call it the alternate horde build. Um, so if we bring a marks a veteran in the game, um, and we're gonna we use both of our ultimates at the same time, I'm gonna run different cards. So I'll show that in a second here. Um, so basically, if when I'm running uh, when we run when we run with a veteran. I will take off long shot handling and modified long shot um, because I'm going to be using the Marksa um, in Marcus's ultimate or Veteran's ultimate. Um, so I'm going to replace those cards with Critical Parade and Icy Precision. So Critical Parade will extend the length of the X-ray ability um, for every kill I get, and then Icy Precision will freeze the enemies um, and do do freezing damage. Uh, once they get low health, uh, does really, really good, useful card. Uh, like I mentioned before, for freezing bosses and certain enemies in place. Um, very, very useful card to run. So, yeah, I replaced long shot handling and modified long shot with critical parade and icy precision. If you're running a, a veteran marksman combo, and then the other three cards are explosive critical hit for the explosive headshot damage. Um, exploit weakness, um, so that's just base critical damage, and then ambush, which is more base critical damage above 90% health. So those are the card stacks I like to run. Um, pretty much, it's all, it's either the basic class, uh, basic basic build I usually do, and then if we get a veteran, I'll, I'll change the cards up. Um, you could mix it up, like if you on certain highs, you may want to run patience. Um, you can put that card on, or if you want to run like 
modified M bar, like on a hive like the split, which doesn't have long shots, that's a card you could um, throw in there too. So that's pretty much the horde stacks I run. I'll show it again on the screen here. And then uh, I'm going to move on to the horde perks and discuss those in the next section. Alrighty guys, moving on to the horde perks. So typically the first perk I like to level up once um, the engineers say it's okay to perk is feedback boost. Uh, so that goes up to 50% um, at level 10. So basically what that does is it increases your uh, the damage that you do you're doing towards recharging your ultimate. Um, so once it's max, you pretty much don't have to do um, other than more get a couple of headshots and you get your ultimate back. Uh, so definitely a card I like to run because uh, Foz or Marksman has a relatively slow alt charge by default. So this help definitely speeds it up for sure. Um, the next perk I like to level up is critical damage, uh, which increases the critical damage by 50%. So this can get you over the, the hump to like headshotting scions or drones in one shot or two shots in the later waves. Um, definitely a great card to have um, or perk to level up. Um, the third one I usually do is precision weapon damage. So this is basically base precision damage um, that's not critical. So um, I like to level that up too. Um, that's just extra damage. Can't say no to that. Uh, level 10, it gives you 50% extra damage as well. Um, then the last perk I typically do in horde games is ammo capacity. Um, at level 10, it gives you 100% extra ammo, so double ammo for your precision weapons. Um, so long shots, you start with 15, so that'll give you 30 bullets um, when that perk is maxed. And then with Mark side, I believe you start with 60 uh, rounds, and that'll give you 120. Um, so yeah. And then if I'm running with a, a veteran combo, uh, I will pretty much perk... Um, in the same way, I'll probably prioritize the ammo capacity earlier on than make it the last perk I do. But uh, these are all really useful perks. I recommend leveling them all up uh, once the engineer says it's okay to start perking. And then that is pretty much the perks, guys. I'm going to show some gameplay of this marksman class in action. And thank you all so much for watching. See you all in the next video. Alrighty, guys. Coming up, I got some marksman gameplay in Escape and some board gameplay as well. And that'll pretty much wrap up the marksman class skill cards tutorial. Thank you all so much for watching, and uh, have a good one. See you. I'm just going to get rid of Patriots there, getting some of the close range kills with the Devastator and the Reject. Pulling it. Um, Venom progress will just be wherever it was once you pulled the button. Um, starting like uh, assault rifles, stuff like that, but nothing really earlier. You're going to fight two sentinels in this room. Oh, uh, that's just the RNG in this hive, how that works. It is a PV only hive, so I'm just going to. Time for a little target practice. Any last word? Company! Time for a little target!